As a huge fan of Into the Spider-Verse, I had pretty big expectations for this one. In a way, the sequel, Across the Spider-Verse, met my expectations and even surpassed them, but also kind of let me down. I'll explain why. But first, let me tell you what I loved about the movie. The animation. I think that the animation and visuals were truly groundbreaking. I've never seen anything like this in any other animated films. The amount of attention and details that they had in every scene was fantastic. Sony really pushed the boundaries of what an animated film can be like. The pure creativity mixed with a variety of stunning art styles was incredible to see on an IMAX screen. With the movie focused around the concept of multidimensional travel, I thought that they did an awesome job of taking this concept to a whole nother level. As a longtime Spider-Man fan, Across the Spider-Verse definitely nailed the role of Spider-Man and showed the journey each one has to take. This includes the sacrifices and responsibilities that each variation of Spider-Man must undergo to actually become Spider-Man. The movie dove deep into how each individual Spider-Man has a choice that can greatly affect how the other Spider-Men from other universes live. This concept, which was also shown in Spider-Man No Way Home, is something that I find really neat, as many others do. It's really cool to see how each variation of Spider-Man is their own unique and individual character with their own stories, but they're all connected within. Moving on to the controversial ending. Personally, I did not mind how they ended the movie on a huge cliffhanger. Everything seemed like it was coming to a conclusion, yet they slowly added more and more suspense before showing us the twist. I like the way this was done, but not necessarily as a part of the plot. I'll explain more later. Now let me tell you what I did not like about the film. The plot of the film seemed pretty straightforward at first, but then was slightly misleading as the movie went on. In the beginning, we are introduced to a potentially very powerful villain, the Spot. We are then thrown into the story of Miles messing up the timelines of alternate dimensions. And while this happens, the villain is just put to the side. With a ton of fast-paced information thrown at you, the plot gets a bit messy. As much as I liked the way the movie set up the ending, like many others, it kind of felt like the whole time they were just showing a long trailer for the next one. I felt like the film was stretched a bit long with dialogues and the introductions of many new characters, some being unnecessary, while little to no progress in the plot was being made. As for the first movie, I thought the plot was much more coherent. It ended on a great way that set up the sequel. The last thing I had a thought on was a push of an agenda that may be offsetting to some. While typically I don't mind subliminal or even obvious messages that are made in films, I feel like most film enthusiasts just want to see an entertaining and well-made movie. This of course did not ruin the movie for me at all, it was just a little thought I had. With that being said, Across the Spider-Verse was a visually stunning film that really pushed the limits of how creative an animated film can be. It was still overall a great movie with fun cameos and fan service and awesome action sequences, but for me it did not top its predecessor. Thank you for watching and follow for more.